Joining me from Johannesburg is Angelo Coppola. Angelo, great to have you on the show. Welcome. Now, this whole saga, of course, exposed some major operational flaws in MTN. Now, following Dabengwa's exit, Angelo, uh, as the CEO, is, is he just the fall guy or was he behind MTN's poor management of the situation? Well, as you heard, MTN are scrambling to try and defend uh, the outgoing CEO, but it's still unclear and we probably won't ever know the truth. I'm hearing that he did spend some time in Nigeria this weekend trying to resolve the, the matter. He returned yesterday and that's when he announced his resignation after consulting with the board. Whether he was pushed or he jumped, we're, MTN aren't saying, they're saying that his resignation shouldn't be construed as admission of any kind of wrongdoing. So we're kind of going to have to wait. You must bear in mind that he was a country manager or he has country management in place to take care of the day-to-day -day operational matters. So you would assume that he would have been informed on what was happening. So as uh, the trader said, he probably did the right thing and fell on his sword, would you? Mm, well, Angelo, there is some speculation that we will see more heads rolling and of course more senior exec executives uh, are expected to exit the company. In fact, its largest shareholder said it wants more people to take responsibility. Now, what is your take on these reports? Are we going to see more heads rolling? Well, it's early days yet. I mean, it's just been less than 24 hours since we heard about the, um, the resignation. Um, we could speculate that there could be some in-country management that may be at risk. Whether any other board members at group level will face the chop is unlikely. From a reputational risk point of view, it would have made or it would have been less damaging if any other group level board members had been implicated would have resigned with Dabenga, then it would have kind of made sense. But there's a thought that suggests that the company culture incentivized business growth at the expense of compliance and that the culture was perpetuated by management and, of course, but then by implication the board. But as I said, it's early days yet, Ucha. Mm. Well, Angelo, former CEO and Chairman Leko, well, he'll, he says he'll, take, he'll be taking over uh, for the next six months, actually. Now, what are his plans uh, to tackle the fine? What is he saying? Well, he's not saying that much, except that um, at the moment they're involved in discussions with the regulator in Nigeria at the NCC. Um, this means, in fact, that he's in charge of negotiations. He's had lots of experience as CEO and as chairman. He set up the MTN Nigeria operation. Um, and while some faces might have come and gone, he has some understanding of the NCC and its processes. And any nuances that he's going to miss will probably be provided by the in-country team. We're also hearing that he's hoping for a favorable outcome in the next 14 days. Ucha? Yeah, well, thanks so much, Angelo, uh, for those insights. Of course, we'll keep uh, following that uh, story. He's joining us from Johannesburg.